Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. We're going to continue on with uh, the list of Christmas songs. We did the first five already. Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch, and Snoopy vs. the Red Baron. Uh, those are all ones from my childhood. Very uh, family-friendly, very uh, fun and different uh, from some of the other songs on this list. Uh, this next batch of five come from uh, plays and movies mostly uh, and have a slightly different feel to them, more overtly sentimental uh, in a lot of cases uh, and, and definitely have not necessarily the kid feel to them, but definitely a family feel to them and they uh, they bring out some different emotions uh, especially if you've connected up with these songs through different ways uh, the first one is uh, we need a little christmas which is a song from uh, from mame a musical uh, that i happened to be in when i was in high school uh, but this song I, I first heard in the film version of the play uh, and it's comes about in in the story uh, kind of not anywhere near Christmas. Uh, things are going very poorly for the characters in the story, and they need some cheering up. So what they do is they break out all the Christmas decorations because Christmas is a happy time, and if you put yourself in happy times, maybe you'll get happier. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but it's a good song, and if you're feeling a little down, it may pick you up a bit. Uh, especially if you're familiar with the movie uh, or the play, uh, or if you've been involved in a production of the movie or the play, you may have some very solid memories of it. So that's We Need a Little Christmas right this very minute uh, from Mame. Uh, the next one is a very um, low-key emotional song. It's Edelweiss, uh, which was in The Sound of Music. Uh, and that's, you know, kind of a wistful, longing song for this uh, natural beauty, th this fleeting beauty, this peacefulness that is, well, if you know the sound of music, about to go away uh, and, and turn into, you know, just utter chaos and war. Uh, so you hold on to those pretty moments, those glorious, natural uh, moments, uh, and you let those carry you through. And it's a very flowing, lyrical song, uh, and if you've heard it, you recognize it right away anytime you hear it. Uh, it doesn't tend to make it on the radio a whole lot outside of like Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, because it's not exactly the most uplifting song. Uh, it, it's happy, but it's got a very sad undertone to it. And I like it. It's, it's one of my favorites uh, from that play, uh, from A Sound of Music, and, and it uh, really works for me because it's got that dual nature to it. Next one was uh, used in a couple of movies back in the day, back in the time when... Modern American Christmas was kind of defined by the movies, and it's one of the uh, one of the songs that lent its name to one of the movies and appeared prominently in another one, sung by probably one of the most recognizable Christmas voices uh, that's ever been on television and the radio, uh, and that's that's Bing Crosby, and the uh, song in this case is White Christmas. Uh, you know, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the kind I used to know. Uh, and it's another one of those wistful ones that has that double edge of joy and sadness. And I think that's important in the holiday season to acknowledge both parts of that. Uh, anyone who's dealt with family and has lost family understands how the holiday can change. And I think uh, white Christmas kind of touches on that. Uh, I know I've seen tremendous changes in my family's Christmas over the uh, decades uh, as, well, there's fewer of us and uh, it, uh, it changes a lot. A and uh, this song touches on that and it encourages us to 
remember those great Christmases so we can better accept the ones that uh, are less for one reason or another. Uh, and again, Bing Crosby, uh, his voice is just magical. Uh, always has been, always will be, definitely one of the key Christmas voices out there. Uh, which is why the next song on this list involves Bing Crosby. Uh, and this is a medley uh, that he did with David Bowie uh, for a television special a long time ago. Uh, and it is uh, Peace on Earth and Little Drummer Boy that they do together, sitting at a piano, having a conversation that just segues into song. Uh, and it's just one of those good, feel-good pieces. Uh, and you get these two men with these great voices and these great presences uh, between them. Uh, and it's very captivating in a lot of ways. Uh, and if you've never seen the uh, video of it, I'm going to uh, put a link down below uh, and hopefully it'll be one of the versions that's uh, close to official and sticks around for a long time because it's just really comical at first and then it just pulls you in uh, and, and it's a good family feel. It's a good uh, bonding moment and it's fantastic music. Uh, and the last one in this group is uh, the Christmas song. Uh, it's chestnuts roasting on an over open fire, Jack Frost nipping at your nose. That That's the Merry Christmas song. That's one that everyone who's anyone who's ever put out a Christmas album has done. Uh, it's also shown up in movies and television shows and specials and everything like that. Everyone knows it. You can't uh, help but uh, sing along. Uh, as came up in the uh, holiday luncheon uh, that my company did, where uh, there was kind of a guess the song, name that tune game uh, that they had everyone play. And they played the first few bars to uh, the Christmas song, and everyone in the whole place sang the verse uh, without even realizing they were doing it. So we're very conditioned with that one, uh, and it was amusing, and it just goes to show that some of these songs, a lot of the songs that I put on this list, are really deeply a part of the culture, in America at least, for what Christmas means. Uh, generally, that also only applies to the, you know, middle class uh, in certain demographic areas, but we'll talk about the whole idea of modern Christmas and where Christmas came from uh, in another video. But these songs have really dug their way into uh, pretty much every facet of our lives in the holiday season, regardless of your religion or whether you uh, celebrate Christmas or not. You know these songs, and you can't get away from them on the holidays, Sometimes you can't get away from them starting in September, which is a little bit of a problem. Anyway, let me know what your favorite song from this batch or any of the ones uh, in this list I'm putting out are. Uh, tell me in the comments what these songs mean to you when you first heard them. Uh, if you uh, have a favorite version of them, uh, let me know down in the comments. If you like the stuff I talk about, give me a thumbs up right down below the video. If you're subscribed, thank you for being subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you can get notified when I put out these videos. If you know anyone else who would be interested in these things that I say, uh, share this or one of the other videos with them so they can get involved in the conversation too. I'm Kier. That's it for today. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.